Hey friends, so it is the very end of December and confession, I still haven't read the book. Oh my gosh, so bad, so bad. This month is just like, I don't know, it slapped me around and dragged me down this road, but I still, I'm still planning on it. So if you've read it and you have had some awesome ahas or takeaways, I would love it if you'd share it in here. This is your book club too. It's not just for me to come in here and talk at you. So share what your ahas are, share if it's helped, share if you are like me procrastination destination and still need to read it um but yeah so it's my end of the year resolution I'm going to finish that book and a few others that I've been working on um because it's just about getting better every single day right this life it's a journey and we can always be getting better and doing more to improve ourselves so that being said January is almost here if you have any books that you would like us to consider for next month please let us know I'm open to suggestions I want to hear what you'd like to read because you're all like my unicorn people. Like you get personal development. You all, you're like me. You want to make yourselves better, and that's awesome. So I want to hear what you're reading, what you'd like to read. If there's a book that's been on your list, let me know what it is, and we'll talk about it, and we'll figure out if that's what we want to read for January. So New Year's resolutions are coming up. We all know you're probably making them. Um, for a long time, I stopped making them. I was like, I don't make New Year's resolutions because I, they just don't come true. I don't follow through. Sound familiar, right? I used to be really negative that way. But I reframe my thinking, and so I make New Year's resolutions, and I finally realized it's not about perfection. It's about progress. And so just because I set a goal and I don't necessarily meet it doesn't mean that I've been a failure, right? Life happens. We're humans. We shouldn't let 100% perfection stand in the way because it, for me, it was just another way to procrastinate. It was another way to let fear kind of dictate my life and my outcome. So that being said, if you are working on a New Year's resolution, if you're scared to, I'm going to encourage you to make some. Make a vision board. That's one thing that I'm doing with my team of coaches. We're all going to make vision boards. And it's okay to have big, scary, hairy goals on there. If you don't have a hairy goal, if you don't have a big goal, then you never know what you're striving towards. You never know where you're going. And if you're just driving your bus with no destination, well, you're never going to get to where you want to go. So make some goals. If you have fitness goals and you don't know what to do or where to start, reach out to me. Seriously, this is what I do, you guys. I inspire other people or I hope to inspire other people and encourage them on their own fitness journey. And for me, it's not just about your fitness. It's not just about pushing play or going to the gym or doing CrossFit or whatever. It's not just about what you eat. It starts in your mind. And if you're not feeling good about yourself on the inside, then you're not going to ever have an exterior transformation. So it's a full body experience, mind, body, soul, heart, spirit, right? You've got to feel good on the inside to feel good on the outside. And you have to feel good and take care of stuff on the inside so that you no longer sabotage yourself from getting the results on the outside. That was my big aha in the last few months. So if you're, str if you're stuck or struggling, reach out to me, send me a message. Seriously. I swear I'm not going to like drag you into my cult or anything like that. But if you have a suggestion for January, let me know. There's a couple books I'm thinking about, but I don't really know. I'm always open to suggestions and you're my fellow um, PD freaks. So I would love to hear what you have to say. Make it to make today fantastic and amazing because you're the drivers of your bus. Beep, beep. <laughs>